Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss about compound objects and in the compound objects, I will discuss about on form and in the last video tutorial, I have discussed about morph and scatter and today I am going to discuss about what is con form in 3ds Max modeling. So let's begin. I am going to my perspective mode and I will press Alt W and I am going to draw a plane first here. So I will go to my standard primitives. And now I will select plane here and in the plane you have to do some settings here and I am going to make this length segment to 40 and width segment to 40. So I want more segments and you can select edge traces from this one to view your uh, segments here so now i'm going to give any color here suppose i'm going to give any sky blue color here now i will go to my modifier list and i will select on the list noise so you can press n on your keyboard and i'm going to select noise from this one and in the noise you will see some parameters so i am going to strength here and i am going to change x value from 0 to some more uh, values here like 22 24 and you can see your shape is changing here and i am also going to change this y value and now i am going to change my z value So now uh, you can see this is something like a terrain and now this is suppose this is any landform here and now I am going to draw a line by using my shape model here. So I am going to this 2D shape here, shapes and I will select line here and I am going to my Alt W and I will go to my top view here and I will draw a line here suppose I am drawing path here and I am going to my line command here and in the line command I am going to select smooth here and I will draw a suppose a path here and I am going to draw any shape path and now I will escape and this is the shape of our path and now I am going to my uh, perspective mode and you can see this is our path and I am going to modify list and you can select this one rendering and I want to give thickness to my line so now I am going to rendering in the line and I am going to select this one enable in render and enable in viewport so that you can view your line in viewport. So uh, I am going to all double perspective mode and I am going to select line and now after enabling in render and enabling in viewport I am going to change this from radial to rectangular because I want rectangular pathway and you can change this value and you can change the length and I'm going to change the width of this line and you can change the spect also so I'm going to leave like this and I'm going to change the color here and I will give some wave color textures here and now uh, I will move this pathway above of this so it's not attached to this terrain so we will use conform to attach this so now this is the pathway and this is the landform so now we have to be careful while making this and so now i am going to select this pathway here and i will go to my standard primitives and then i will go and select this compound objects and after uh, this you can see this is conform is grayed out so we need to convert this to editable poly because then only it will be attached to this pathway so it's grayed out here so i'm going to right click here and i'm going to select convert to editable poly and now if i'm going to my compound objects you can see this is the compound is activated so now i'm going to select cone foam 
now you can see this is the name and color of this pathway and you can change the color if you want and this is the pick wrap to object so uh, pick wrap to object you have to select so i want to wrap this with this one it's terrain so i will select this terrain so uh, after this you can see reference copy move instance so i will select instance and you can see some parameters this is the name of this object and you can the wrapper name you can see now this is the vertex projection direction use active viewport so if you want to uh, use conform using active viewport so this is my viewport you can use this and after this you can use these settings along vertex normal towards wrapper center etc and you can update always leaving this as this and now this is the last one height wrap to object so i will tell you the difference so i am going to first check this and i will tell you what will happen if you will uncheck this so i am going to uh, hide this wrap to object and i will display result so now i am going to, uh, to wrap to object so i will uh, select this uh, land from here so i am going to wrap to object and now we will select this terrain and you can see uh, this uh, terrain is attached to this uh, this pathway is attached to this landform but this is very important shape because uh, whatever we were viewing from this angle it only is attached to this landform but, but rest is not attached so i will tell you uh, how you will do this and perfectly so i am going to control z this and i am going to initial stage and now i am going from this perspective mode to my top view mode and i will tell you how you can do this so you have to be very cautious this is vertex projection view active view port so i am going to my uh, top view and now i am going to select top view here and now i will select this one pick wrap to object and now again i will select this landform and you can see it will be attached to a uh, landform perfectly so i'm going to my perspective mode and i'm going to make it large and you can see it is nicely attached to this landform so by using top view you can do it uh, easily and after this you can uh, do some area along vertex normals what will happen towards wrapper center what will happen towards wrapper pivot and likewise you can do these settings so i am not selecting any so after this uh, you can leave this setting and i am going to uncheck this hide wrap to object so what will happen so you can see this uh, 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 color of this uh, pathway and landform is uh, is merged and it's not looking nice so it is a duplicate here so i am going to select this as i drag to object so it will be easy so it will be helpful in if you are working on your daily projects or you are creating any pathways so it will be helpful in 3ds max for creating this kind of using com from from the uh, compound objects so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max bye bye